Hello everyone, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. Boy, it is cold out here today. Right now it's about 41 degrees, it's going to be 33 tonight. And I want to touch on something real quick that a viewer had asked me. They said, Eric, what happens if my antenna is blown over sideways? Can I still use it on HF? That's a really good, really good thing to address. And we'll test it ourselves. Before though, I want to show you, how do I look in my new Yesu jacket? This thing, check this thing out. This is probably the coolest, warmest jacket I've ever had. It's got pockets here. I got my arm pocket on the side, zipper. It's like a windbreaker, but a warm jacket by Yesu. I bought this from Gigaparts. They were giving them away for radios back um, last year, then they ran out, and now they're stocking them. So I had to pick up my Yesu jacket. Love it. Anyways, let me take a video of this thing bending over, and then we'll check the SWR and see what happens as the thing is laying over on its side. So right now the winds uh, on my weather station, my Davis weather station, it's been clocking about uh, averaging 20 to 25 to 30 mile an hour gusts. And you can see this thing right here, it is cranking. That thing is a, that thing's moving. And uh, here's my weather station over here if I can see it. There it is. Video on that updating soon. So if I hook the analyzer up to this thing, and this thing's slapping all over the place. Maybe you live up north and the winds are a lot higher than this. We have a massive Arctic blast coming through and uh, this thing's going wild out here. This is not even as wild as it's been. I've been looking out the window and the thing was <laughs> point. I mean, it was pointing, look at it. It's moving and it's, the camera can't do it justice. And I have to say, the high gain AV680 that you're looking at here, the nine band antenna I have is still one of my favorite antenna of, of all time. And uh, so now this is not given the fact that, let's say you have a loose connection. That might be a different story. This thing though, since I've got it back up after Hurricane Irma, has still been solid. I got 20 meters tuned. I have all the bands tuned where I want them. And you know, if you have a serious issue on coax or a connection up top, this may be you know, irrelevant to you. It may be going up and down with the wind. But with this being electrically sound right now, looking at this antenna whipping around, I'm gonna go inside and put it on the analyzer and see if this thing's going up and down. Or maybe I can use HF like the viewer wanted to uh, during a severe windstorm when it's going whipping around like this. All right, so I have it hooked up to my analyzer here. And looking at it on 20 meters, SWR is staying about 1.1 right there. Still about 50 ohms, not changing. Current wind speed is 14 on my weather station. There's a gust of 19. It's not moving really. Let's see what happens on uh, 40 meters. Here's 40 meters. So 40 meters is using the entire length of the antenna. And it's sitting right about 1.7, 1.6 to one, somewhere in there, almost 50 ohms. The needles are a tad bit off of the digital display. I use the digital display uh, right now, currently 22 miles an hour. And you can see it fluctuating there with the wind. but. Totally usable. 1.7 to 1 SWR is fine without a tuner. I could use it just the way it is. Now, if you're up north and your antenna is covered with ice, I don't know anything about that. Never seen snow in my life. So if it's covered in ice, maybe different because that's gonna adjust or change the electrical properties of the antenna. But for my situation here, I just gotta tweak the top of that antenna for 40 again, but I'm not taking it down until next time I have to service it. If you have a cold solder joint or some kind of electrical issue on the antenna, this may not look like this. It may be totally different. There's steady 19 mile an hour right there. And uh, it's looking good. So for the viewer that asked, yeah, as long as you don't have an electrical issue to where the thing's jumping up to, you know, you're transmitting at 100 watts and it's jumping up to 30 to one SWR, that'll cause damage if you don't catch it. You know, you don't want to damage your radio or amplifier. So 
if you're looking like this with wind and it's knocking around out there and it's not changing your SWR, it's a good way to look for shorts too. You may have a, a high open somewhere and you don't notice it until you're in the wind or you can't find out if it's your antenna or what. I would definitely be able to see, okay, this thing is jumping to 20 to 1 SWR with the wind. I know there's a, uh, you know, a uh, maybe a cold solder joint or a, a loose uh, trap on there or something. But that's it. Hope that well, was at least interesting for a five-minute video. 7-3, thanks for watching. KJ4, YZI.